1965 started out like any other. It was a typical fall afternoon in the Northeast, until strange things started to happen as the sun sank low in the clear autumn sky. At about 5.15 p.m. Eastern Time, during the twilight just after sunset, the lights began to flicker. The New York Times would later describe it as a wild flickering for about a minute, like a silent alarm. Twelve minutes later, just as millions of New Yorkers were starting home from work, the city went totally black. It was the beginning of the most infamous blackouts the city and the country had ever seen. It wasn't just New York City either. Much of the northeastern United States had gone dark. Parts of nine states plus three Canadian provinces lost power. In all, some 30 million people were left stumbling in the dark. In addition to the official explanation eventually provided by government and power officials, there were, and still are, other theories as to what may have caused this unprecedented event. At first, nobody had any idea what was happening or how many people were affected. One of the strangest parts of the event may have been how power flickered and faded for some time before being lost completely. Radio stations like WABC in New York that were broadcasting at the time noticed turntables and tape decks slow down and wobble, unaware that all the electrical energy that kept the city powered was literally being drained away like water emptying down a tub drain until a short while later, it was gone. What would come to be known as the blackest night in United States history was about to begin. Jonathan King, I think in the key of R right there, something, in one of the cracks anyway, well, we'll, we'll straighten it out. Anyway, that's number nine this week. <laughs> what can I tell you? 21 minutes past five o'clock. The equipment in here says Signal Corps, 19-2. Well, anyway, uh, thank you, Signal Corps. Get from gone, and I hope that Adam's hour is gone. 
because everything's running at half speed, including me. <laughs> hey, listen, we've got Action Central News next, and then right after another complete edition of Action Central News, we shall return with a number 10 goodie by Herbie Albert of Tijuana Brass called Taste of Honey, Honey. <laughs> it's 5.25. This is Bill Rice with news five minutes sooner from WABC Radio.